Hello, welcome back to another NextGen training video. Today we're going to be talking about how to enter assessments and plan labs, imaging, and referrals in NextGen. You first want to start off in the assessment and plan section of the SOAP template. Once you're here, you can click on assessments and you can search through this list to see if the patient has already had that assessment in the past. So let's say that they're being seen for low back pain today, and they're being seen again for type two diabetes mellitus. Let's say that one of the assessments for today is not on this previous list, and you need to search for it. So you will click on problem IT plus, and let's say tendonitis of leg. So here we have a different list of the different possible ICD codes for this particular assessment. So if you have found it, you would just click on the plus. But let's say that you have not and you need to sort of narrow down a little bit more on this calcific tendonitis of the lower leg. So you will click on the arrow and then you will say, okay, the right leg. And then you will click plus. And as you can see, that gets added here to the list. Once you're done, adding all the assessments that you need, you will hit save and close. Once assessments have been entered, you're gonna to wanna to enter the plan for each assessment. For this example, we're just gonna choose the low back pain. But for example, for this, you can write here in your impression that pain is improving with NSAIDs. Um, then, possibly consider an x-ray in the future if the pain gets worse. For your patient instructions or details, you would just write, continue your medications as prescribed. Let's say that you want to actually make a follow-up appointment for this particular problem. You will click on follow-up. Here, you would just say follow-up. Here, you can say, if you know the provider, um, you can select it from the list. Let's just say it's with um, Dr. Andres. Reason, you can just say, you can select the first part and just type uh, low back pain. Follow up for low back pain. Always make sure to insert a time frame. For this, it would be, let's say, two months. And then you would hit place order. There we go. So now this has been entered into the system. Now we're going to cover how to enter labs for each particular assessment. Let's say that for the low back pain, you wanted to check a calcium level. Um, so you would select, you can search here in the list for calcium. Let's just say we're gonna do a calcium level. For the type two diabetes, let's say that we want to check a hemoglobin A1C, a CMP, a CBC, um, and like a microalbumin. So we're gonna search for that. Perfect. Let's say that you make a mistake and you actually want to take the CMP off the list. You would just select it and delete the row. Now, if you're ordering these tests for a future date, you have to select the date here. Here you wanna save and close as well, and save and close. Remember that when you enter labs, you have to either print them to the lab or print a copy of the labs to give to the patients for a future date walk-in. So once you want to do that, you go to checkout. Here you will see the labs and the labs listed that you actually selected previously. You would just select one, for example, and then create a requisition. Once you create the requisition, you let the document generate. Again, you can print to the lab, you just have to find the lab printer in the list, or you print 
and give a copy of the labs to the patient so that they can come in on a different day and get them done. So entering diagnostics is going to be a very similar process um, as labs. You want to go again to the assessment and plan area and you want to get to this screen again. As always, make sure to enter your assessments first. If you haven't entered them, you want to go there first. And so let's say that for that low back pain that originally we said that we're going to wait on that x-ray, you actually we're going to order it today. So you're going to select the assessment, low back pain. And let's say that you're going to do an x-ray of the spine. So let's say that you're going to do an x-ray of the lower spine, the 72110. So again, you want to establish a time frame. So the time frame can be, let's say, four weeks. Or you can, if you think that is urgent, then you need to type urgent. Please do not type ASAP or today if you think it's something that needs immediate attention. Please type urgent or select a time frame. Okay. Once you're done with that, you want to hit place order. Here in this screen, you want to select the attending that you're working with. If you're the attending, you do not need to select anyone. You will just cancel out. But let's say that you're working with Dr. Andres. So you will select Dr. Andres from the list and she will get added here. Once you hit OK, the system will trigger her to come and approve this referral for imaging. So once that's done, we're going to save and close. And again, we need to go to checkout to generate the document for this. So we go to checkout. And we see it here listed as exam of the lower spine. If you have specific instructions for the x-ray technicians, you can select it and edit. And you can type here the reason for referral would be low back pain. And let's say that you want three views. Um, so here you would say uh, like a one-liner, 75-year-old um, with uh, low, low back pain for the past 10 years, requires x-rays of low back, please obtain three views minimum. This is where you will give you special instructions. Here you would just save and close. And if you want to verify that your instructions got there, you can scroll to the right, but here they are. Now that you're here, you will select it and you will generate the requisition. If you're the attending, you would just sign off on this document. If you're not the attending, you're like a resident or a medical student, you would just close it. Here you can verify that it actually has been generated, as you can see. Enter and referrals is very similar to diagnostic referrals. What you want to do is get to this window as you did for diagnostics or labs. Again, you get to this window from assessment and plan. If you haven't entered your assessments, make sure you enter assessments first before you start the referral. So what you want to do here is, let's say that we're referring to endocrinology for that type two diabetes. So here you would say endocrinology, you say type two diabetes, and you're placing a consult. Um, and your consult maybe is to answer the question, possible um, insulin pump needed. And here you would just do a one-liner. Again, you want to establish a time frame always for these referrals. Make sure there's a time frame. If you think the referral is urgent, then you need to type urgent or consequently select urgent here. If it's something that's routine, you can just select 
four weeks, for example. Once that's done, you will hit Add. Again, you select the attending if you're the medical student or the resident. If you're the attending, you don't need to select a name. You would just cancel out of this and then close this. And then again, we will have to go to checkout. Once in checkout, we check the referrals and it's right here. Let's say that you want to edit the paragraph because you forgot to add an extra detail there. You can just hit edit and you can enter any extra details to your history there. You can save and close, and then we generate the referral document. Once it's generated, again, if you're the attending, you sign off on this and it adds an electronic signature here at the bottom. So for example, I'm gonna use mine. And so it added the electronic signature. If you're not the attending, you would just close and it will be there for the attending to sign at a later time. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoy it.